Hey, everybody, this is the We Bang Money's team. We're really excited this week. We're bringing you our first few episodes of our brand new podcast. We really hope you guys like to uh, like us, subscribe us wherever you get your local podcasts. And as soon as we get a real sponsor, we'll be able to give you a specific podcast spot where you can find us. So catch us every Thursday at the midnight hour. Beaches. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining the We Bang Mudders podcast. I'd like to welcome you to our first show ever. I'm one of your hosts, Merck. I have my co-host here to join me. I'm going to go and let them introduce themselves. Hey, Merck, this is Tika. I'm your strong, independent black woman, Chapo. All right. So what we have this week? Well, guys, we have a pretty fun-filled podcast to talk about this week. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump on the topics of peacocking you know. for guys. Peacocking, huh? Yes, so yes. When you whip your dick out as a guy? Well, believe it or not, there's two versions of that. One with your mother and one with me. God um, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, we're going to go ahead and jump into the topic of a Uber Eats. Who's got the best and the worst service? Your yeah. mother eats the best ass. That's all I know. Jesus, <laughs> man. Man, I wish I could get that delivered. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have an explicit special content for you guys if you wait all the way to the very end. Ooh, great finish, huh? You sound just like your mother. <laughs> man what's up guys welcome 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 to the first ever first episode of the Big bang your mother's podcast you guys want to be able to remember where you are today and the time because we are making history ladies and gentlemen pretty much bro pretty much <laughs> yeah remember where your mothers are today because they are getting fucked by us this evening yeah. pretty much pretty <laughs> much so remember this day <laughs> with that let me just say that we are uncensored uncut Unfilter, just like, but super edited and <laughs> uncircumcised, <laughs> but super edited, <laughs> but fully un unfiltered, fully unfiltered un for yes, sure, for sure. Yes. Well, guys, how was everybody's weekend? Had a great weekend. Had a great weekend, huh? I was with your mother, bro, to be honest. So Man. I was just busy, bro, working, bro. What I'm else can I do? I literally just left your mother's house right now from uh, having my ankles up all weekend. It was rough. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> you guys are nonstop. <laughs> it's funny. You might have the same thing. <laughs> uh, me. Well, guys, uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate our first topic for today peacocking. What is peacocking? Uh, who wants to go ahead and take the first swing at this? So, what I understand is like peacocking is when like people just like uh, wear something over the top for attention, right? No, that's that's one version of it there mm. for you guys. That's one version mm. of it. Yeah, yeah, like basically peacocking is standing out, right? Mm. Correct. So, I mean, the, the simplest way to look at it is, is when you stand out. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, when a guy, when you're at a bar, anywhere you are, at the restaurant, at the movies, at, at, you know, at the university, you're standing out. Right, but standing out not, not by necessarily wearing a fucking bright pink shirt or a yellow shirt or some crazy ass shoes or, you know, $500 jeans. We're, yeah. not, we're not talking about peacocking in that sense yeah peacocking is you have to find your niche the ability yeah. where you shine the brightest and the best shine bright like a diamond like a <laughs> like your mother's g-spot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. so, so how would you how would you peacock uh how i would peacock um for me personally i would like to to get close to somebody to be able to get into a bitch's ear uh i know that my voice is a really good trait for me you know uh bitches love whenever i uh just the way i talk apparently whenever i start drinking i get this like southern texas swag bitches like to call mm, it and mm. they just feel it and it's just somehow i just get full of myself you have to believe that you have this this ability to to ooh and ah like believe I said, it. exactly so that, that's what makes him stand out i guess mm. yeah, yeah that's exactly what it is even if you know like it's, you have to fake it till you make it guys in the mm. beginning everybody doubts themselves mm. everyone has doubts now one person can look at you wholeheartedly and say that i didn't have a single doubt in myself whenever i first attempted this yeah everybody has those moments at some point or another in their lives yeah but you have to overcome those fears to get into the uncomfortable zone to then push yourself to grow and find that strength yeah and but chow look at that guys it'll get you some pussy in the long run yeah, 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 yeah. that's, that's pretty much how it works <laughs> no, that's a great way to look at it it really is you know in the end it's all about that confidence i guess it is about you, know, you confidence gotta have that confidence and persistence ladies and gentlemen persistence persistence yeah. helps too right oh, but man. but i think it's like the confidence is like a lie meaning that you, uh, you it's it, it's not there when those moments arises so like all right let's say that girl peacock worked right and that girl approaches you mm -hmm. right but if you don't act on it 
then it was all for nothing. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So fear, and well, fear, I'm using the word fear, maybe using the wrong word, or anxiety, whatever you may call it. If it's present and the confidence only appears if you act on it, despite the fact that it's still scary, right? Yes. Because confidence doesn't appear. It doesn't It doesn't be like, oh, here comes the moment. Right. <laughs> here comes the part I'm ready. Now, according to what I hear around the world is that confidence should appear now, right? Right. So I may take action. But in but but re, the real world works is that confidence never appears. Right, it's carpe diem. <laughs> yes, it's just like oh shit, I'm still afraid, or I'm using the word again, afraid. Maybe using yeah. the wrong word. No, no, the, no, that's the, a good way to put it. It's about overcoming, like overcoming yeah. that fear. Fear so in that moment, yes. you know, the the flight or <laughs> fight or flight instinct kicks in. Yeah, when you have confidence, you can overcome it. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, everybody has those moments of doubts where you want to run. You know, where you're like, ah, oh, this isn't gonna end good. I don't think this is really gonna turn out pretty well. But I think all of us has had those moments, and it's all turned out ironically way different than any of us could have ever intended. and if you're quote unquote peacocking then you just say whatever the fuck comes to your mind yeah. no fucks given no fuck yeah, yeah. And you just part. say some shit you know yeah guess what guess what when a peacock flocks his feathers when it turns his back it don't look behind it baby oh i like that oh, shit oh, god oh, damn oh, it's true though it's i know true. your mother looks back at it oh. <laughs> <laughs> One time. First off, fuck you guys, all right? <laughs> now, and then you could push that to the, you know, to as extreme as you want, right? Yeah. Like, cause yeah. You know, I know you were telling me, Chapo. Yeah. With the, with the meal, if you had to Yeah. Speak yeah. It's that, so that's the thing. Um, it was still the part of like, now here's another one, right? Cause this is how it worked out for me. The fear of losing the, losing the potential to fucking fuck the shit at this crazy meal, right? I could at any moment be a square, say the wrong thing, or do the wrong thing, or play the easy route. Hey, you want you want to go for dinner? You know, yeah. something simp, goofy. The simp move. So in the in the spirit of peacocking, in the spirit of not giving a fuck, right? If I combine those two, if I can fusion summon those two, Fuse. right? You like that? I like it. I with like no, it. With no need of polymerization. <laughs> right? Fuck it, I'm gonna give it to him. Turn your keys, sir. And, uh, I like it. Thank I you. like it. <laughs> And risk risk the potential of, of fucking, right? So I was like, man, fuck it. Let me just say something outlandish to this bitch. And come to find out, this is exactly what she wanted in here. Something fucking outlandish, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, bro. Let's hear it. So, they, so, so they, it was something goofy. She was like, hey, here I'm with my nieces and my kids and uh, with this baby. Something goofy, right? You know, she was being a girl, right? And uh, well, any guy can be like, oh, that's cute. Or like, oh, how old is your kid? Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. And, and I was like, man, it, it, and Chapo yeah. said, <laughs> "Why don't we just fucking practice having kids? You know, oh, just straight up. Oh, oh, something like that. I was like, let's practice the let's the art of having kids or some shit like that. Pretty much, fuck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> straight up. Something like get us cohabit. Yes, bro. In layman words. And, right. and bro, and in that, I just kept going." Meaning, like, as soon as you're dropping off your kids, you ain't got shit to do. I'm scooping you up. You kept hitting that sen- section I, when you. I'm scooping you up, bam, bam. But now, like, I I jumped the first barrier of like fear. You know, this is where now the, the actually the horniness, the horniness <laughs> does <laughs> continues to compound on the limits I'm pushing. So now I'm getting even more horny. You're like. And we're going to do this and doing it tonight. And I'm right. picking you up at this hour. And we're going to go here. That gets the bitch wet. And then pop, pop. The more doors are open. Yeah, then like, yeah. you know, oh, like, like per, my dick is growing per inch per, per <laughs> yes she's giving me. See, right, that's when right. you push that confidence to the limit, bro. Consent, hey, hey, this whole time, bro. Keep I understand it. this, folks. Consent, consent. Yes. That's another inch. Consent, that's three inches now, you know. Four, consent, oh. that's four inches inside her already. Right. If you yeah. say some crazy shit and she's into it, you know, that's consent. Yeah, absolutely that's consent. And consent is sexy. Is hashtag consent and sex. All I know is that that night, all I heard were saying, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> You sound just like your mother. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That was great. And, and, and all it was, and it was that, it was the, um, in the spirit of not giving a fuck, like you said, Tico, in the spirit of peacocking, meaning like, again, physically not giving a fuck, but now it was in the spirit of, I'm willing to lose the, uh, the fucking. If I just jump, 
You know, take the yeah, leap of faith. Just say, uh, just say, say, say the shit that you shit. really yeah. want to say. Damn, you know what? Yeah. I, I, in you saying that, it actually triggers me something. It, okay. In the beginning, men talk to women like that because we know what we want. We want to fuck, right? That's our goal at the end of the day. So in doing so, we act like assholes. We tell women how it's going to go down. Women love that shit, right? Yeah. However, yeah. when we get into the relationship, we have the fear of losing pussy. Therefore, yes. it comes into the accommodation of, hey, baby, what do you mm. want to do? Yes. What do you want for dinner? Mm. How do you do it? And you know what? Why does it drive men crazy to pick what women want for dinner? Why can't we just tell them what the fuck we're going to have for dinner? This yes. guy has some PTSD, apparently. Uh, because- <laughs> no, I just, it just hit me. I'm like, damn. Uh, yeah, because because then it comes like, all right, uh, and because con- that conversation infuriate me. What do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want? How about this? No, no, no I don't want not that. that. Okay, <laughs> the first no, right? The, instead of being persistent and selling the idea of like w- why this place that you want, like pizza, <laughs> we we give up easily and be like, all right, uh, then all this. Right, I, I mean, chicken? thinking <laughs> thinking that the best sales move is to present another option, right? Right. Same thing with the fucking well, I guess she doesn't want to suck my dick. Right. Um, do you want a uh, cuddle? You know, you fucked up, bro. You right. had to sell it. Why? Uh-huh. Look, this pizza place, the reason I want this pizza place is because the seasoning they have is imported. Unlike the rest of these chains, this pizza pot has homemade this, homemade that, made from scratch, like, like no one not used to make back in Italy, Italy. You know, so I'm selling it. And that's <laughs> why, baby, I shit. want this. So I'm selling the idea, bro. I think I think that's it. I think it's just like being confident to not give up on the first no, but don't take it like the no as in like uh, no respect me. No, no, no. I think it, 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 we we don't sell our what we want right. You gotta find a better way to sling that dick. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not there bad. You go. I think as long as you, I think what what's important in that aspect is that you can't lose the playfulness when it comes to sex. As soon as it becomes a task or an, or an obligation, mm. women don't want to do it. Yeah, you know that's a good way to leave it. That's uh, that's yeah. really how I kind of how I perceived it at this point because, like I said, if it's it's if it's still fun, if it's still a game of whether or not you are or aren't going to get the pussy or how I am or aren't going to fuck you, yeah, you know that's what makes it mm. to a certain extent kind of fun. And again, yes, we have to keep it spicy, spicy, keep it fun, keep it yeah. interesting. You know, yeah. don't ever do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> like uh, uh, Tracy Hunt? Morgan said, "Stop like tell your bitch, whip your titty, I'm gonna suck it right now." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, what you don't want to is you don't want to be on your phone on Uber Eats for 20 minutes trying to decide what to eat. Yeah. Uh, Oh, so yeah, just, jump, yeah. just deep dive into that pussy. Yeah, <laughs> Look, you need to figure out what you're going to eat. Time, Swan. Swan. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to waste my money on Uber Eats. That shit is expensive as fuck. In the beginning, if you're just going to, you know... Never mind. That's a whole other <laughs> Listen, listen, bro. What she had to tell is like, listen, listen, baby. Instead of Uber Eats, I'm going to get in my car, drive around five minutes, get off, give oh, you this sausage, man. and then charge you 50 bucks for the gas. <laughs> <laughs> for the delivery fee. Uh, uh, man, that was I had a girl here in my apartment. She was like, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to order Uber Eats. She's like, no, he, he, get, get DoorDash. I'm like, I don't have a DoorDash account. <laughs> She's like, but DoorDash is faster. I'm like, bitch, it's the same shit. It's the same, <laughs> same shit. When they come out with an app that links them all up, like when you only have one account for all of them, that's dope. But if every time you have to sign up for another fucking app, bro, it's so inconvenient. It's so yeah. fucking annoying. Oh, there's going to be an app that tells you of all your food apps, this was the cheapest. Yeah, no shit. That's and true. now they all offer subscriptions. That's no way. Oh Nine, my it's God, like $7.99 bro. a month, no delivery fees. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uber Eats, DoorDash, well, like, I think Grubhub or just like the that's smart right money. now though during the pandemic. That's smart right yeah, now. Yeah, they've been the doing it for months now. Like, that's fucking wild. But yeah, I don't know. But, man. but what are you gonna do when robots replace the human delivery? <laughs> Bro, that's, that's already now. just a mess uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Excuse the accent. I'm foreign. <laughs> Amazon. I, I think Amazon testing like those. Yeah, the drones. drones. Delivery drones. I want to know. The, the, ones that, the ones in wheels. Damn. Wait, uh, what? In like Austin, in like in like those hipster cities, I San Francisco. The, I did see the yeah. video that was scary. It's like driving down the, down the sidewalk and it pulls into the house. What? And, you know, it's like a drone. It's like a bald looking drone. So it opens the lid and the package is inside. The person gets a package out the drone. Oh, so Amazon is Skyrim, bro. You <laughs> ever seen the video of a blimp 
in the middle of like nowhere in the US. It's a blimp with his Amazon on it. And then just like an alien thing, like the blimp opens up this this thing on the bottom and all these drones. Drones come out. on, yeah. So that video. Like, and I'm like That's nuts. That is like some like sci fi like invasion alien stuff right there. So eventually right. it's gonna get like that for all the food delivery. Uber Eats is gonna have drones flying. You from... saw the fireworks display that Japan had, right? The drone. With, with the drone. The, yeah. That looked insane. Of a human oh, and do a countdown. It was a countdown that was like five. There's one of a human dr- of drones, right? That make the shape of a human and then walks in the sky. That's insane. That one, that was like, what a time to be alive. Yeah. I don't know. That shit's scary to me. But. It is fucking. <laughs> shit. Oh. Hey, look, I said Skyrim, it's Skyline. <laughs> Skyline. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> See, that's, that's why. <laughs> if we back up, that's why we like stay quiet on the reference. I was like, what? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's crazy, fuck bro. Fuck you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit, right. man. But which one do you think is the best out of the food delivery apps? DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats. Yo, Mada. <laughs> she does the best deliveries, all I know. I know you might eat the best box. But <laughs> yeah, damn. No, I think it's Postmates. Postmates. Postmates is actually like they got the better drivers. Like, like I said, the only time care. I even really ever use Uber Eats is when I want to feel like a boss. Like I remember I was fucking this bitch this one time at a hotel, and she's like, ah, "I want to go get something to eat, but I don't want to leave." And I was like, "You know, babe, just go and get some Postmates. Ain't no big deal. Like get whatever you want. I got it." But in my head, when I saw that ninety dollar bill, bitch, this is Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> ninety dollars at Denny's. <laughs> Okay, shit. She almost fries. See, that's, that's when, I mean, you just gotta, you know, you gotta pull out that confidence card and be Jesus. like, okay, here's what you're eating, girl. This dick. This dick. Yeah, pretty much. That a guy? <laughs> I, put, I got some ketchup in the fridge. <laughs> I put it on top. <laughs> Enjoy this six inch bitch. <laughs> and this is gonna be a violent meal. <laughs> Speaking of violent meals, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and top it to the explicit topic, guys. If you have children listening at this point, I mean, we've been talking about fucking feeding bitches sausages right. for the That's last 30 minutes. So at this point, if, you, <laughs> if, you're a parent, so if your kids are listening, look, they if, fuck it, no. stay off of the best part of the ride. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, oh, Lord. First off, if you've had your children listening for this long on the podcast, you're a horrible parent. <laughs> <laughs> and Secondly, tell them how, like, their hey, brothers and sisters were about well, you, to be you, destroyed. You, you are a great mother. <laughs> we love all mothers, even bad mothers. Those are the best. Essentially. Savage. Leave your kids with their grandmothers and get fucked for the next no, two hours. No, don't leave with your grandmother because I might be there. Well, okay. The explicit topic that we're going to go ahead and step into, guys, is face fucking. All right. So, this sense of the word is... Merck's excited because he gets face fucked constantly. Not like your mother. God damn. <laughs> God damn. God damn. <laughs> All right, so, so um, I mean, I'm face fucking, I'm face fucking. Like, how how do you go into that with a with a female, with a girl, with a lady, with a mother? I feel that you have to ask. That's my personal opinion. Well, yeah, bro. That's what I've done. Now, no, you don't just you don't just go straight into it. I feel like Chapo said, "Fuck it." And like as soon as you meet the girl, I feel like I, for some reason I just picture like a WWE like just run out of nowhere from the corner, ah, and then like dive my dick into her mouth. Ah. <laughs> Am I right? And she was barely telling you her name, and she's already choking on it. That's I pretty much like get her name. <laughs> no, you, you, <laughs> I feel like this the other way. My name is. <laughs> I feel like this the second acceptable way. That's a beautiful name. Besides you know? asking, you know. <laughs> The third one is just plain rape, really. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> well, well, no, I don't no, know. No, right uh, no. Yeah, no. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I mean, it's because she wants it. It's she wants it. Yeah, no, obviously. So, some girls actually like. They I like that. They're into it. Fuck I have, yeah. I have had bitches literally tell they me, love I, that. "I enjoy. I love to get face fucked in the morning. I would love to wake up and get face fucked." And I'm mm. like, "Damn, that's how you want to start your day." See, there's that hashtag the consent is sexy, and then merch coming soon. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you know when when <laughs> bitches say shit like that, like, "Hey, can you face fuck me real quick?" I'm like, "Oh my god, what are you doing for the rest of your life?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for me, those are that's the bitch you don't want to get rid of. Damn. Even if you were to get married, you have a 
happy life, happy wife, two yeah. kids, the fucking white picket fence. You got the minivan and an SUV in the garage. You're minivan chilling. and SUV. Check it. And you got a dog in the driveway or in the in the in the yard, oh, right? Damn. You got the perfect damn. life. If there was an American dream right there. If there was a bad fat booty bitch that walked up to you at your job and said, Look, I think you're really fucking hot. How about I'll let you face fuck me every day until you're until you want to walk away? Damn, yeah. What do you what do you do for the rest of your life? That's okay. like a motherfucker walking up to you and say, Hey, there's bro. there's actually a meme like that that says like, hey, a girl a girl that after twenty years of marriage still drops down and sucks your dick at the drop of a hat, you know you marry her. You know you marry her twice. Absolutely. Ooh. But that's like look, that's like a I motherfucker like that. yeah, coming like up to you and saying, Hey bro, do you want this thousand dollars every day for the rest of your life? But you just can't tell nobody. Motherfucker, you better give me my money. Shit. <laughs> Keep it to myself. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck am I gonna be bragging for? So in that yeah. sense, ladies, don't ever stop getting sucking your man's dick. Yeah, yeah. don't ever stop doing that. You save, you save a life. I think. You, know? tips. you save a marriage. In this you show, one hundred. In this show, we're all about giving you advice, telling you what to do. You want to know why the divorce rate is 50-50? <laughs> is because half of these bitches out there sucking dick, and half of yeah. you niggas ain't telling your your wife suck my dick. That's it. Half <laughs> these niggas are scared. Half these bitches don't want to do it. That's what it is. So confidence, confidence, confidence on both sides. Yep. But hey, Absolutely. let's talk about building up to it. I, it let's I mean, talk about building up with that girl that doesn't want to do it right off the bat. What about that girl that's like face flicking? I feel that every girl has a dirty little slut inside them. Every, everyone, every one of them, they that's do. True. They just have to find the right guy in order yeah. to unlock Pandora's box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And once they do that, you've opened up to a whole new possibility, a whole new potential, a whole new world. But those are the best ones because since you've introduced them to it all, you get to train them in the sense that you like. Mm, that's the girl you got to train. Those And those are the best ones. Once you get to train are the favorites because they know exactly what you can show them what you like. Yeah. They don't have yeah. to, you know. And then they find out what they like. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And when they start finding out what they like, they're into some freaking and a, shit. And man. a good portion of the time, they're going to be into whatever you get into. And therefore, yeah. then that makes it a treat. Whenever and you then, ask for it. And then bitches will start bargaining for that shit. See, because yeah. then, then, then they want to keep trying out shit yes yeah. and then they show you some video some shit online and you're like man okay fuck it let's try that let's shit try that. <laughs> right absolutely yeah. hey babe yeah. do you want to do ballroom dancing this weekend hell no i'll let you face fuck me baby let's go do ballroom dancing <laughs> i got my shoes i got my shoes on <laughs> i'm waiting on you i'm in the car i'm waiting on you <laughs> i'm already here where you at <laughs> i gotta sign up I'm just, I'm just saying man we're actually yeah. up let's go <laughs> we're trying to share a little bit of knowledge yeah, here with you guys we feel that coming on this podcast you got to be able to walk away with something. That That's what it's want. about. It's to have fun, obviously, but it's more anything to like literally go out there and get your dick with fellas. To like, help our fellow, essentially, our fellow human. That's what we're here for, guys. Our fellow human. You know what, what it be, bro. It's not man. It's not woman. It's not the A B C D elemental P Q, Q group out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's all of y'all. It's everyone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're here to help everyone. Go out there, be much, alpha. Much help love your, to help everybody. your fellow man. Absolutely. You know, go face fuck a bitch or two. Pay it forward, guys. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Spread the knowledge. Spread the love. Spread the seed. Like I do in your mother. Facebook, get Facebook. We don't give a fuck. Keep be happy. Stay fucking. Stay smoking. Stay drinking. <laughs> and whatever you do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and tune in every Thursday at the midnight hour to listen oh. to the We Bang Mudders podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been our show. This is myself, Merc. It's your boy Chapo and his motherfucker. Antico in the mix. Okay. And hey, don't forget. Make sure you guys uh, hit the subscribe, like. Go into the We Bang Mothers podcast and make sure you guys subscribe and find us wherever you find your local podcast. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. <laughs> we'll, have, my we'll, have that, we'll have all of it posted. All that jazz. And our website is coming soon. Yeah, it's under construction right now. But once you guys have that up and running... I mean, you guys, I'm referring to us. <laughs> Once it's up and running, guys, you'll be able to find all of our podcasts and streams there. Uh, until then, we hope you enjoyed our podcast. Please come back next week where we're going to continue to talk about your mothers. And face fucking. <laughs> Let's go. Peace. <laughs>